Hey everybody, Derek and I, we are out in the arts and crafts community. Um, we we're going to be eating somewhere today called Split Rail Eats. Um, it was a Google find for me. Um, I was looking up something that might be a little bit different, a little bit out of the way. Um, out of the way, alright. <laughs> um, it's off of the Glades Road. Um, it's on Watson Drive. That right next to the good. road, as you can tell. Yes, yeah, yeah. traffic comes in spurts, yeah. we noticed. But um, anyway, so we haven't really seen but one review on this place, so we're going to give it a try, and hopefully, it'll be something really good, and we'll let you guys know that. All right. Okay, and they got a little covered bridge out here near where we're going to be eating. It's uh, it says White Oak Flats Covered Bridge. Of course, that was the original name of the town of Gatlinburg. So, and. Can't tell, is there a bear on the bridge or what, what is that? Zoom up. Oh, that's Shaughnessy. Wave for everybody. All right. So we're going to be trying a place that she found um, on, I think she said Google, Split Rail Eats. And they've got espresso, lattes, ice cream, and more. Uh, we're here for the more. We're actually just here for lunch. So they don't open till 11. We're here a little bit before that. But we're going to go in and see how how it works or how it is all right so we are out here in the arts and crafts community at the section called covered bridge in the glades working artisans courtyard shops eateries and split rail eats okay from what i can tell these are actually apartments where people live and there's like a little courtyard here outside seating um it just rained a little bit ago, so I don't guess we'll be sitting outside. Uh, I think maybe that's the front of the restaurant. I've been seeing signs for it, but I haven't actually found the front of it. I believe yeah, that's it there. Sign for it. So it's kind of just tucked away here in this little, what do you call it, courtyard? I guess so, yeah. Uh, but I do believe these are like just dwellings and apartments up yeah, above. Yeah, well, we just met two tenants that were walking out. Oh, is that, do they live here? Yeah, they said they live Yeah, we just met two people from Oregon. Uh, and uh, one of them, I guess, is an artist. So, yeah, he's got a shop down the road. Something down there called the Basket Case. I don't know what that is exactly. Well, yeah, uh, probably. Here's a like, soy candle. More than a candle. Basket Case is actually a soap company. <clears throat> Specializing in handcrafted products. But, you know, it's kind of peaceful out here. Now, my wife will tell you that since, tell you how we, how we have uh, worked things out. We spent years coming up here and not really having a plan. And then we would discuss, I'll tell you how it's been with us over the years. Here, let me just, uh, hold on just a minute. We'll... The way it's been with us, we've been coming to Gatlinburg a long time. And we've had many trips, have we not, where, what do you want to eat tonight? You know, and we'll spend an hour trying to decide where we're going to eat. Um. You know, I would be like, well, where would you want to eat? She'd be like, oh, anywhere's fine. Okay, how about anywhere, Mexican? But, no, yeah. I don't feel like Mexican. Well, then where do you want to eat? Anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, let's get a pizza. No, I don't feel like pizza. Well, where would you like to eat? Just pick a place, you know. So that we've done that for years. We usually would end up at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, you know, it's like finally I, I would just get frustrated. It's like, okay, we're going to Cracker Barrel. You can get whatever you want there. They got something for everybody. So what we started doing is when we know we're coming up here, we each pick a restaurant of where we want to eat at so anyway split rails was hers uh, well, what I and i've kept a very open mind about it because oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like way out here in the middle of nowhere uh, actually it's just like you know we go to so many like the same spots i mean there's mm -hmm. so much to choose you know in gatlinburg and i was like let's try to find some little small places kind of out of the way yeah, and again this is out of the way it's like eight <laughs> eight miles from our motel out in the middle of nowhere and it's just like i, yeah. I saw this and it came up several <clears throat> times in different google searches so i was like okay well you know let's just give it a try yeah and i've kept an open mind all week haven't i yes <laughs> he has picked on me constantly <laughs> yeah because it's like split rail i've never heard of this place and then when i see where it's at it's like we're really going to drive all the way out there so I hope, told him, I said, we may be very pleasantly may, surprised. Maybe. Like I said, I'm keeping an open mind, but they open here in about five minutes, so we're going to, uh, I guess, hang out until they do. So we'll let you know how it is. Okay, apparently I just told you all wrong, I guess because Google told us wrong. Did you say it said 11 on Google? Yeah. Apparently they open for breakfast, so uh, that means they're open now, right? Nine to six. 
today's Saturday, so uh, we're going to try to head on in. I thought they were still closed because there's nobody else here. But anyway, and actually, there's the sign. Come in. We're open. Now, one thing I do like is this menu. That's easy to read. Uh, it's just up here on the wall like this. So I do like the menu so far. And there's three sections to it here if you want a tater bowl. I saw buffalo sandwich. I thought that was like a buffalo burger. I was going to get that, but it's actually uh, buffalo chicken. Uh, they're priced, you know, decent, about like a lot of other places, I guess. And I'll get this last third section here. Frito fries, smothered enough Frito sauce. That sounds pretty good. That's the menu. And also, on, uh, behind the wall where the menu is, I got a little sitting area here. That looks kind of comfortable. Um, got different states on the wall here. Uh, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, and South Carolina. And pretty nice uh, picture on the wall there. I hate to admit this tour, but it is kind of nice in here. Um, then a shelf, um, looks like books. We ain't here to read, we're here to eat. But here's a little bit of the inside of the place. And, uh, soda fountain where you serve yourself and a map of the national park right here shows a lot of the trails and roads that go through and actually a little hard to read just because of the color of the letters in the background but it gives the mileages like in the Gatlinburg and Cherokee entrance and the elevations which is something that I uh, really like to follow and study that's pretty cool. Right back out where you can see more of it. Back over around in here is some more seating area. So here's our table, and my wife's going to get another picture of the fireplace. So I really like the wood floors in here, and just kind of the setup is pretty neat. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't tried the food yet. We um, both ordered a Philly cheese steak. We did get an appetizer, uh, cheese curds. Uh, we each ordered a Philly cheese steak with uh, macaroni and cheese. Uh, I ordered mine without onions, of course. She gets hers with onions and peppers. And uh, it comes standard with horseradish mayonnaise. I'm not a horseradish person, so I asked for regular mayonnaise. I think she's gonna try both. Um, Horseradish is good if your head's clogged up and you got sinus issues, but beyond that, it's a little stout for me. Just put it on the side and try it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I just know you've tried it before with prime rib. You didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, prime rib don't, don't want to yeah. on that. But uh, anyway. I like the rest of the decor in here. Yeah, that's why I was just saying it. You know, the wood mm -hmm. floor. The, I like that map right there on the wall. Uh, yeah. It actually gives elevations of places in the park. You know how I feel about that. 
Didn't they have something similar to that last night at the uh, maple tree on the wall? I don't remember seeing one like that. It's not that big. I mean, I'm talking about the information underneath it. Well, maybe. Yeah, not. they did have a map on the wall. Mm -hmm. But anyway. We... One of those, remember this as a gift for Christmas or birthday? Well, yeah, that would cost way too much, though. <laughs> Probably. So anyway, we're waiting on our food. I told them what you got. So. Oh, you told them or I didn't tell them. No, I did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, while you're off taking pictures, I told them we both got a Philly cheese steak with mac and cheese. And I added peppers. Yes. Now that's weird. That kind of, usually most Philly cheese steaks, anywhere you go, comes standard with onions and peppers. I usually have to ask them to hold it. And you had to pay a little extra here to get peppers, and that's pretty much standard on a Philly cheese yeah. steak. Anybody anywhere? You did tell the whole onions on yours. Though. I did. Did you get mushrooms? I thought that came with it too. Does it not? That's I have to add cent. that. That's fifty cents. If you want them. I would like the yeah. I would like mushrooms. I thought that came with it, but okay. Uh, okay. okay. I'll give you fifty cent later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's our appetizer: the deep fried cheese curds. Um, see how those are we we actually started getting cheese sticks or cheese curds as appetizers at J. Arthur's they have some of the biggest cheese sticks ever so uh, we're fans of cheese all things cheese so I don't know who wouldn't like cheese to be honest with you cheese is just like one of the greatest inventions ever and as soon as she gets back we will pray and start eating but she's photographing everything right now so. I may just pray and start eating myself. Uh, all right, what do you think of the fried cheese curds? They're good. They remind me of the ones that you can get at Cookout. Yeah, in a way. Um, but I like you can dip it in ranch. Yeah, ranch, ranch dip here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, they are kind of similar to the ones at Cookout. These are probably not as crispy, but they're, they're good. They're flavorful. They're not as greasy as what they are at um, Cookout. Yeah. Okay, our food is out. I guess my first complaint is gonna be, you don't hear this enough often, the food came out too quick. I wish they would let you get your, that's how much of our appetizer we've eaten. We just got the appetizer not three minutes ago. And now the food's already out. I did add mushrooms. There's the macaroni and cheese. I, he was very nice and he did not charge for those mushrooms. Well, that was nice. I do wish they would let you finish your appetizer so your food don't sit here and get cold. But um, our food is out and our appetizer is still there, so. Well, we just finished up our meal and I'm stuffed. Um, I really wasn't really hungry when we came, but um, I still had a very good meal. Um, I got the um, Philly cheesesteak. It came with onions and I had to add the peppers for an additional 50 cents. And it had a horseradish mayonnaise. Um, normally I don't care for horseradish, but they did put it on the side and regular mayonnaise so I could try it. Um, it was actually pretty good. It wasn't like you know, clear your sinuses or anything like that. It was actually kind of a smooth cleaning paste. So I used that instead of mayonnaise. Um, sandwich was really good. It had a lot of meat on it and a lot of cheese. Um, I actually took a picture of it. It's like, you had it open, it didn't really look like a whole lot, but once you put the bun together, it, um, and you looked at the bottom side of it, it was a lot. So check out our Facebook page because I did take a picture of it. Um, macaroni and cheese I got was very cheesy. It was, different though. Um, I think it was like a rotini type of spiral noodle. Yeah, the twist, yeah, spiral. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't any type of like cheddar. It was kind of like a Parmesan Alfredo with crackers crumbled on top of it. It was very creamy. It was good. Um, cheese curds, they were good. Very, very crispy and dip them in ranch. They were good. Um, overall, I enjoyed my experience. I thought it was very good. Um, it's a newer place. I love the, the, um, rustic decor of it it is kind of out out of the way just a hair but you know i liked it i'm glad we came would you do it again yeah i would, okay. I would. and they had a lot of like um specialty lattes and um stuff like that if you like stuff like that so that some of those sounded pretty good okay so how was your meal all right well um i showed y'all what we both got we both got the same thing the philly cheese steak um, I will agree with her. They did give you quite a bit of meat on it. I can't complain about that. My, I guess my only complaint, other than how far it is out here, would be um, that we hardly had to, I bet we didn't have our appetizer three minutes. It wasn't like we just sat and talked and wouldn't eat. I mean, we didn't have it three minutes and here comes our food. 
and there's nothing worse than cold macaroni and cheese and I didn't really want my food getting cold while I was trying to finish the appetizer so I thought that was a little quick I wish they could have spaced that out a little bit better but we were also the first customer so I guess they didn't yeah. have a lot of other orders they just yeah. did ours up real quick but the cheese curds were really good I like those um, I, I don't think I've ever made a cheese curd I didn't like but those those were really good they're deep fried and you dip them in ranch and that, that was really good I would recommend that if you come here um, the Philly cheese the macaroni and cheese let me talk about that like she said, that was the, like the spiral noodles. I've never really, I'm not saying nobody else has ever done it. I don't recall ever getting that as far as macaroni and cheese. Usually it's like an elbow macaroni or something. But um, this is a little different and it did have the crackers. I, the macaroni and cheese was decent. Uh, I didn't really want french fries today. So I, I got that. Uh, it was decent. I mean, kind of creamy, but you know, not the best I've ever had, not the worst. As far as the uh, Philly cheese steak, there was a lot of... Um, meat on it like she said uh, I added mushrooms to it I didn't I, I did ask him for mayonnaise it hardly had any mayonnaise on it so since she had two cups of mayonnaise I did borrow some of hers to add to it um, so what did you think of the horseradish man? like you say it was not strong horseradish at all like when you get a prime rib you get horseradish it'll open your head up I mean yeah, I like but that. this was not strong at all it's probably more mayonnaise than anything else yeah. and just maybe a touch of the horseradish in it um, so that, I could have gone with either one on that, honestly. Uh, is it the best Philly cheesesteak I've ever had? No. Is it the worst? No. Um, but as far as would I do it again, all right, here's, here's my thing on that. Uh, we watched one other review before we come, and I have to agree with um, that guy. What was this, Smoky Mountain? All about the Smokies? All about the Smokies, yeah. Um, I agree with what he said, and here's what he said. Is it somewhere you would want to make a special trip out of Gatlinburg for? Probably not. If you're already out here in the arts and crafts communities and you get hungry, absolutely stop here. Um, that's what I, that's, that, I would agree with that. I think, you know, if you're already out here, yeah, it's worth it's worth coming to. It's it's a good meal. Um, but everybody I don't. Everybody was really nice. Inside. Yeah, everybody was really nice. I don't know that I would drive eight or ten miles like we did this time um, to come out here again. But I would definitely, if I was already out here in the arts and crafts community, yeah, definitely I would stop here again. Um, I did like the way the inside was. Uh, it was very rustic looking i did like that they had sofas over there by a fireplace and it, it was really nice as far as the setting itself is really nice so that's my review on it i would give it a thumbs up i would oh, do yeah. it again if we were out here i certainly would uh so if you're looking for even like a coffee shop they have like, yeah like we that didn't too. we that's, didn't try any of that but yeah no, but they had quite a bit well we got the menu and stuff but like for the sitting area and stuff like that if you wanted something like that that it would be nice yeah so anyway um if you like this review, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and find us on Facebook. And we thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.